Duncan since it just won to come forward and it's Rosello. And his national celebration about to get underway. Rosello takes his place and the Melbourne Cup field is set for 2013. And without delay, away they go. Simonon came well out towards the middle. Faulkner got away reasonably so to see Moon. Fortella spears across the back of the field to head down toward the fence. Red Kiddo, he's going to take hold and drift back and Rossello from the wide gate's going to try to find the way across the front of the field. They come down towards the course proper. Brown Panther down on the inside. Gdemi has gone forward. Hawkspur's going forward as well. He's right up on the pace with Trebler working from the outside. And Rossello's five deep, but you get plenty of time to find a way in. Green Moon down past the 300 the first time around. He's down on the inside and he's in sixth position with Ivachenko. Then came Seville, super cool. Matt Athos is three deep for the moment. Dunedin and Red Caddo there together again, passing the winning post this for the first time. Then Murray and Dandino the fence. Simon on the outside of Fiorente, who's only got so about a half dozen behind. Masked Marvel. Further back then was Verema, the loose decor, two lengths away. In the field then on the rails is Royal Empire with Ethiopia. Sea Moon's gone back to third last with Fortella and Faulkner, the Caulfield Cup winner, is at the back of the field. Russello has found his way to the front working up the riverside and he's out by about a length and a half. Trey Blue has gone up into second and Brown Panther is third. Two lengths away is Dear Demi with Mount Athos. Two away then is Hawkspur, so he's up into sixth. Green Moon's having a lovely run in transit. He's seventh the running line. Then came the outside, Ibichenko, who's condemned to cover some ground. Murray in the middle and back down there on the fence is Seville. Further back then is Red Caddo, who's got out and moving. He's moving early in the race. He's out three wide and plugging up place forward. Then Dunedin, super cool is with them. Midfield is Simonon, then Dandino. Further back to Fiorente. Two away in the field then is Royal Empire. The Lusta is not having much luck. He's out wide with Ethiopia. Then came uh, Masked Marvel. Sea Moon still with only two behind him. Therefore, Teller and Faulkner is last. Rossello up to the 1,200. He's out by a couple of lengths. Trey Blue is second in a truly run Melbourne Cup. Brown Panther's on the scene and he's on the move nice and early. Mount Athos has moved up to fourth, but he's been out on a limb for a while. Then came Dear Demi. Moran moves into it. Red Caddo is handy to them. Hawkspur further back then is Green Moon. Two away, super cool. Ibachenko's with them. Then came Seville. Hooking to the outside is Simonon, who's coming with a run. Ethiopia, Sea Moon, surfs the wave into the race up toward the corner. Then came Royal Empire, the loose de Coeur. Faulkner's coming from a mile back from Seville, Dandino. Dunedin's near last down Fortella. They're on the corner in the cup. Moran's run up to hit the front from Mount Athos. Red Caddo is on the scene. And then came Simonon. Ferrante comes with a terrific run. Faulkner and Sea Moon run on with Royal Empire. Down at the 300. Red Caddo's in front, but Ferrante is on the scene. Simonon behind those and then Mount Athos. Faulkner and Dandino late. Ferrante's in front inside the 200. Red Caddo is fighting on from Mount Athos. Ferrante and Red Caddo. Ferrante's got his nose in front and Ferrante draws away. It's Gay's day at last. Ferrante wins the Melbourne Cup. Red Caddo second, Mount Athos third. Then came Simonon and Dandino. Brown Panther plugged <laughs> on. Further back then was Ethiopia, Belustica. Behind these runners was Seville and super cool Ibichenko. Next over the line, Hawkspur, Murray and Dean Demi. Then came Faulkner, <laughs> who was set an impossible task. Dunedin, Fortella, Royal Empire. A long way back was Sea Moon with Masked Marvel. Rossello's only just finished the course with Trey Blue. And Green Moon might have gone from first to last. It's Ferrante. This is a plan 12 months in the hatching. Runner-up last year and the winner today, Gay Waterhouse. She's done the lot now. Red Caddo, what an old marvel he is. He made Ferrante work the whole way and he's been a length inferior at the post. And Mount Athos from fifth up to third. So the top three were all here last year. They're all tremendous then and they were better again today.